Hi, so a couple of years ago I made a video on vocal isolation and compared Spectral Layers 1 and Isotope RX-8. And later I made an additional video that included Rip Axis Deep Remix product. But almost two years has passed since then, artificial intelligence is hot. We've seen Spectral Layers 10 just released, Isotope is on RX-10 and Deep Remix has gotten a couple of updates as well. So I figured it's about time for an update and answer the question, which one does the ultimate vocal isolation right now? And I've included a new surprising free one as well. So let's go. So let's dive right into Cubase and check out the track that we're going to use for this test. Now this is a clip of a live track from my band The Wash from many years ago. And since it was recorded live, it doesn't have ideal separated audio to begin with. There's bleed of instruments in all the microphones and there's audience noise. So I figured this would be a good test case. Let's have a listen. I can live two lives if I want. No, it satisfies more than one thing. Good. You're the better of me. Now I currently own Spectral Layers 10 and Isotope RX10 as well, and I've downloaded a trial version of Ripex Deep Remix, and the free one which we'll get to a bit further is actually a website, admittedly with some restrictions if you want to use it for free, but it's quite surprising. But I'll get to that a bit later. Now I've also provided the resulting files of the vocal ripping with a download link in the description below. So if you want to check them out in your own DAW, by all means, have a detailed listen. But let's start with Spectral Layers 10 now. Now we can now add Spectral Layers to this event by selecting it and right-clicking Extensions Spectral Layers, which brings up the Spectral Layers user interface as an ARA extension in Cubase. And to separate out the vocals, we can go to Unmix Song. And since we just want the vocal, let's deselect all the other layers. It can do much more than just vocal separation, as you can see. Quality, best. We're not previewing, so let's just go. Now I sped it up for you, but it took around 30 seconds. And the result is that we now have a vocal layer and the rest. So let's have a listen. Live two lives of our world. And we can now drag this focal layer into Cubase, like this. If we close Spectral Layers now, you can see that we now have the vocal in Cubase. Let's try this on RX10. Now this is after that I've loaded the file into Isotope RX10. We can now choose Music Rebalance here on the right side. And the name already gives a bit of a clue of what it is actually intended for, which is like rebalancing the various elements within the mix. But we're going to, of course, rebalance it so that we only have the vocals left over. So I'm going to turn down the bass, the percussion, and other instruments. I'll leave separation at 38. I tried various settings, but this one seemed to be the best. And the quality, let's also choose best. And choose separate. And as you can see, it will take about 3 to 4 minutes. Now this is, of course, the whole track that it's doing, where Spectral Layers was only doing a small clip of the track. So I would say performance of the product is probably very similar, and I'll speed it up for you now. So it's done, and I now have a vocal tab with just a vocal. Let's have a short listen. Live two lives of our world. No, it satisfies more. And we can now save this file by going File, Save As. We can make it a 30-bit float file to preserve all quality, basically. And then I can import it into Cubase, which I just did, and it looks like this. And it's perfectly aligned with the Spectral Layers file, so we can compare it later on. Now at this point, if you like this video or find it useful, please give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It really, really makes a difference. And you can also help me by subscribing to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you get notified when I post another video. For even bigger thanks, you can use the Super Thanks button below, or if you're planning to buy any musical gear anyway, if you do so at these shops, after clicking one of the affiliate links in the description, I will get a small commission without any extra cost to you. So win-win, right? Now let's have a look at Deep Remix. Now this is the Deep Remix app. If I drag and drop my file in there, you can see that it comes up with Ripper options. Now the type of recording is that it's multiple instruments and sounds. What do I want to extract? Yes, I want to extract the voice, none of the other elements. I want to have the highest quality 
and I want to save stamps only. I don't want to actually do anything with it in this software, which actually has a lot of functionality as well. So you can check it out on the website or try out the three week trial if you want to try it out. It's a very extensive application. It already predicts that the ripping time is four minutes. So let's just do it. And it's not very exciting. It's just a matter of waiting. On the top left here, you can see how many minutes are left. Now after it's done, it opens a file browser and you can see that there's a vocal file and an instruments file. If I look at the properties of the vocal file, you can see that it's a 32-bit 48 kilohertz file and the origin was 24 bits 48 kilohertz. So it's trying to provide as high a quality file as possible in the same sample rate as the original, which I can now import into Cubase and that looks like this. Again, fully aligned with the other files. Let's have a short listen to this one. I can live two lives if I want. No, it satisfies more. Yeah, so same vocal part without the instruments. Now on to the bonus option, which has a free plan and it's a website called Audio Strip. Let's have a look. And it promises near perfect instrumental and vocal isolation for free. Now there is a premium option. Well, let's try the free option now. So I can again drag my file in here. I can select the algorithm. Let's go for best performance. I can select the type of separation being a vocal and an instrument stem, and I can select the output format. Now I have selected MP3 in this case because Wave is only available in the premium option. And what I also notice is that my file that I want to separate is currently too big because on the free plan, they're only allowing an upload of 50 megabytes and this one is 70. So I had to shorten the file a little bit and make sure that it included the part that I want to use for the test. And then I can start the isolation, which on this website Website took 40 minutes for the free plan, which is quite a long time, yes. But the premium version apparently works 10 times as fast, so then it will be 4 minutes, which is comparable to what you just saw from Deep Remix and RX10. So in the end, you will see this. So the top one is the original file, then there is the vocal, and then there is the instrumental. Let's have a short listen. I can live two lives if I want. That's the vocal, this is the instrumental. and you can download the file over here. Now it's an MP3 file, but it's a high quality MP3 file at 320 kilobits per second. After importing Cubase, it looks like this. And again, it's perfectly aligned with the other files. So I guess we're ready for the final comparison. Let's have a listen. So I'll first play through each one fully so you can have a listen. I can live two lives if I want. No, it satisfies more. Do one thing good. You're the better of me. I can live two lives if I want. No, it satisfies more. Do one thing good. You're the better of me. I can live two lives if I want. No, it satisfies more Do one thing good You're the better of me I can live two lives if I want No, it satisfies more Do one thing good You're the better of me so we'll now play through each one of them, switching more often so that you can more easily hear the difference. I can live two lives if I want. No, it satisfies more. Do one thing good. You're the better of me. And let's try a shorter section here. I can live two lives if I want. 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 So, what do you think? Which tool does the ultimate vocal isolation according to you? And remember, if you can't hear it on YouTube audio, you can download these tracks with a link in the description so you can listen for yourself in detail, any volume you like, in your own door. Well, for me, the conclusion is 1. Spectral Layers has improved a lot in version 10. I remember in the previous test that I did with Spectral Layers 1, it was definitely not my favorite one. So the algorithms in Spectral Layers 10 really have improved here. 
Another thing that I'm a bit surprised about is that RX10 really has more artifacts. You can clearly hear it, even more than the free version. Now I did try a couple of different settings, but it didn't really improve the results. So I think they might be in need of an algorithm update for this. Now Deep Remix was my favorite when I compared it a couple of years ago, but I think Spectral Layers 10 has come very close or maybe even surpassed it. And finally Audio Strip the free version. I was quite surprised by it because the results seem very comparable to Spectral Layers and Deep Remix actually. So if you're willing to be patient, remember this result took 40 minutes to get, or you're willing to pay for the premium version, then you can get very high quality separation from that tool as well. But again, let me know what you think in the comments from listening to this on YouTube or listening to this in your door with the downloaded tracks. Now, some of these audio editors can do much more than just vocal isolation, of course, and I made a separate video on how, for example, Spectral Layers can unmix individual drums from a stereo drum loop and compare it to a very smart gate from Sonable. And that's the video I'll link over here. Have a look, enjoy, and see you soon.